Michael, lawmakers still need to pass the state budget, of course, and they have until Thursday to get that done. Many other bills that seem sure to pass this year will have to wait till next year. Amendment number 21 is out of order. Clerk will publish the next amendment. It's a shorter session than in previous years, right. with fewer bills passed into law. House be in order. Since January, the South Carolina House and Senate have sent 61 Both bills to the governor's the desk. Senate. Half the number signed into law last year, with one upstate senator describing it this way. Eh, I mean, you know, it, it was somewhat productive. Senator William Timmons of Greenville wishing his ethics reform bill would have become law, but says the legislature is unpredictable. It's the same battle every year. The question is, um, who has the votes to pass legislation? This year, bills that seemed destined for passage were either voted down or never made it to a vote. A bill that would have increased penalties for threatening a school made it out of committee, but stalled in the Senate. A bill to strengthen gun background checks got stuck in committee and was never put to a vote. Medical marijuana, tougher penalties for texting while driving, and raising the high school dropout age, all dead this year. There's always tension between the Senate and the House, but you know what I have found uh, outside of Columbia? Nobody cares if it's the Senate or the House. It's just government either getting something done or not getting something done. And bills that didn't pass can't be carried over. They have to be introduced as new legislation. If lawmakers don't pass the state budget by 5 p.m. this Thursday, they will likely be called back to Columbia to finish it in a special session. Michael? Tim, thank you for that. Still